difficulty. A Zelda 1 randomizer tournament going on. I think it's actually even going on right now. And the flag sets for it are largely... This might be on. This might be off. This might be on. This might be off. There's very little thing... Very few things that are definitely on for that flag set. So it's... It's fun. So I'm going to pop one in and uh, kind of see what happens. Uh, because sprites might be shuffled, we don't even get a nice, uh, you know, happy code at the very top of the screen. We get this disaster of just text up there. Let's just... Let's just put this in here for, for you folks. And uh, let's see what happens. We, uh, so one thing I will say right away, uh, before we even start this seed, uh, we do know caves are shuffled. We do know there, there are eight Triforces required to get into level nine, but we can start with up to six of them. Uh, we will probably start with two items. I bring that up because Zelda here is white. Uh, my, my own settings have Zelda as being purple to start. So this means I'm starting with, the, I'm starting with a ring. I, I kind of know that actually right away. So without further ado, because everybody here is being really patient waiting for me to play a video game. Let's go. Uh, this feels, okay, no, I'm on the right side, so we're not mirrored. We, we basically know nothing about this seed, although I should actually check. We only need... <laughs> we apparently can start with up to seven Triforces. I have a book and a blue ring. Um, that is six that is missing. And here's nine. It's first quest nine. Uh, that's what we just learned. One does not simply walk into level nine. What if Zelda was a girl? Well, we'll find out. Actually, the, the way I'm going to walk back here, I might as well do this. Some funny things you might see in this flag set is uh, uh, often, because swordless is a possibility, uh, there's a flag, ooh, there's a power bracelet, so the armos item wasn't, was possibly not thrown into the shuffle, although armos itself was shuffled. Uh, I just want that armos statue out of the way. We don't know what dungeons there are. I'm losing track because there's too many things to talk about here. Seven Triforces. What even? Zelda will be the queen of social distancing. Now, yeah, last game was kind of interesting. Uh, the last room of nine, I really got around to checking because I just lost track of where I was looking for things. The lowest equipment you can figure the, finish the game with. Uh, it does. The letter wasn't shuffled, or uh, that that's just an accident. Blame blame the creator of the randomizer for not randomizing the letter. We all know how that works. Um, minimum equipment to finish the game is actually unknown, uh, because potentially I I could walk into level six, get the Triforce in the next room. Without, a, without getting anything else, walk into level 9, and Zelda is not that far in. Uh, the book is an atlas. We, I didn't even think about that a second ago. Um, so the other thing about this, right? Zelda may... Well, Ganon may or may not actually be required. So... When that's true... I might be able to walk into level 9, walk up a room, and Zelda's th there. The kidnapped is there. In this case, I'm rescuing Link. Uh, and that's it. So it could be nothing. The moment the Ganon is required flag comes on, 
Uh, the bow and the silver arrows become required items. Uh, those really are the only two almost always required items. Uh, the ladder is very often required since you need to cross over gaps in dungeons. But there are plenty of people who have cleared seeds without the ladder. Dang. It looks like the secret values might not have been shuffled at all because the vanilla game's uh, door repair charge is 20 rupees and the, small, the medium secret is 30. I've just paid those values. Okay, uh, so the lake there, the level two spot, that's a second quest thing. Uh, that means at the very least I have mixed quest. Uh, so I have to kind of... Part of the whole random seed, and if you watch a tournament, you're going to see this a lot. Half of it is figuring out what you're even dealing with. There's a small secret. So it looks like my 100 secret's going to be 100. It's possible they both rolled their normal values. It is unlikely. Oh, man. Link to the Past, I would say, is like definitely the best 2D Zelda for sure. And it's in the conversation for best overall. But that's for another time. Zelda 1 Randomizer, heart, Coast Heart is there. The big thing with Zelda 1 Randomizer is... Uh, I, I feel like this really is explore the game, play the game. Whereas a lot of the other Zelda randomizers become like op the treasure chest simulator. I kind of make fun of them that way a little bit. I, I They're hugely popular, so I'm not going to stop people from watching, you know, things they love. People, everybody should do what they like to do, right? As long as it's not hurting anybody else. This is a full second quest overworld. Uh, the level 5 a screen will always be the cave if it is either first quest or mixed quest. Once we get into second quest shenanigans, um, then then it's that fairy spring. So we're going to check the waterfall. Now I'm like trying to think of what to do, right? The wood sword is in one of these open caves somewhere. We just don't know which one. Uh, other options for weapons are uh, if we find a bomb shop, if we find a candle. Um, often in the Zelda 1 randomizer, there will be uh, t the take any caves. You know, the. Oh, goodness! There's all a flag by the name of Extra Candles, and if that is turned on, then uh, Take Any Caves will have blue candles. The Wood Sword itself will have a blue candle next to it. So uh, instead of just the normal options of a heart container and a red potion, you can take a blue candle as well, which really speeds up exploring things. Lionels are extremely rude. That's even with this ring. I forgot I have this thing. Any roads. So the any roads have been shuffled. It's nice to kind of see where they all are and then decide which one you want to actually explore near. Death Mountain access is always a good thing. Uh, so I want... I want this one. So I want to see what's in the level 3 cave. This screen is like the level 5 cave. Uh, it's always first quest, unless it's a full second quest map. So because I have any roads, I'm going to wait before checking that bottom left cave. The two really troll caves for the wood sword to be in are in the top row and the bottom left. Uh, we found level one. It's also first quest. So we have completely first quest dungeons. So that was the traditional pirouette to open that locked door. Can't do anything in that room. Level one has a floor item in addition to uh, its potential heart item. So it's worth taking a look. I can 
Grab that key. Rude Lionels, Rude Bunnies, Rude Dark Nuts, Rupee Boss. Now that's very interesting. Also, all hail Lord Banana. Let's go up for the goodies. Uh, I say it's interesting because, uh, oh goodness. It's possible that the items are not shuffled. So the items might be in their normal dungeons. Oh, yeah, that's not happening. And I just found the wooden boomerang on the floor in level one. So this is my only weapon right now. Getting a boomerang as your first weapon is surprisingly useful, Night Fury. Because uh, there is an option that's normally on to shuffle hit points. That uh, you might have zero hit point enemies. And if you have zero hit point enemies, they can be, unless they're, as long as they can be stunned by the boomerang normally, they can be killed with the boomerang. Uh, let's see if I can crack that open. Same way the key door opened in level one, and it opens like that in the speed run as well, you can open up a bomb wall like that. Any door that is opposite of uh, where you start, and I'm not going to be able to do anything with that room. Six is the real prize, still, for this seed. Uh, the nice thing about stunned enemies is you can walk right through them. So it looks like enemy hit points at this point is... Well... I don't know how much I can really talk about any hit points when all I really know is that they didn't roll down to zero. Uh, the settings are either, you know, unchanged, or, oh no. That's what I was saying at one point. Um, swordless is an option. And when swordless is on, there's another option that might turn on, although it can turn on even in not swordless, because why not? That says, replace the bomb upgrade. Replace your extra swords with these bomb plus things that we made up. Sorry if I'm, you know, kind of thinking as I'm walking around here. Uh, bomb plus gives you two extra max bombs. And that's it. Then that sword is no longer in the game. It does lead to a funny scenario where you can have, uh, there's a wood sword, thank you. If the game decides to give you the white sword as a starting item, but then also replace the white sword with, with the bomb plus upgrades. Which one is the one I was killing? This is full second quest overworld, so there's nothing there. This is full second quest overworld. There should still be something here. There it is. Yo. So now what? I still don't have uh, a fire source for burning bushes. Those sword beams do two hearts of damage. I'm sitting here with my blue ring. Still sad. 
I thought I had too many hits and I'm still firing sword beams. There is a flag to have sword beams always on. Uh, that looked like quite the normal shop overall. The candle was there, it was cost 60. It was accompanied by a 100 rupee uh, key and a, however many other rupee that was shield. I have the book. I kind of want to be able to afford that candle. The system is down. Um, we don't specifically know if... Um, well, we know we don't have helpful hints because we got that. The other hint I got that the raft is in three might not be true. Because I have no idea. Given that the boomerang was in one, I'm inclined to believe it is very much true, though. Um... I'm still kind of at a loss right now. Where do I go? I want to find six. Uh, six is the missing Triforce. Kind of looking over the previous seat everybody finally finished up now. Oh my goodness, it was like within two minutes of each other for the last two. Ten minutes after me. That really was just a terrible seed. Alright, I mean, we're still... <laughs> looking for either cash to buy a candle or a candle. This might be like the uh, the tournament last year, if you saw the Zelda 1 tournament from last fall. As long as we're talking about like what items are required to beat the video game. Uh, again, it depends on the flag sets. Last year's tournament sets, uh, dungeons were known to be in their in the normal dungeon spots, even if they weren't the dungeon you would expect to find there normally. So, that meant the raft was required, the recorder was required. I don't think the ladder was necessarily required. There was like one or two seeds that were completed without it. Goodbye, P-Hat. Oh, he dodged! Give me a big secret. Medium secret. So, like, it required some knowledge of where the shops were and what they could possibly hold. That was actually kind of fun. Yeah, because giving me the money to buy a candle would be too easy, wouldn't it, game? There's a screen to my right that uh, is traditionally referred to as the, uh, the forgotten spot. Not because of any actual Zelda 1 lore, just uh, randomizer lore. Yep, there's the other one. I am very tempted to... ...go and buy more bombs, but fortunately that Blue Moblin cooperated. No! So we are back to needing another, what is it, 27 ru rupees? Fifth enemy, 10th enemy has the rupee. I, if you're all uh, Zelda 1 fans out there, you probably already know the, uh, the whole 10th enemy has the bomb explanation.
This bubble. Just a bomb. I actually can use that bomb. Uh, so hypothetically, I should still be searching frantically for level six. In reality, the odds are against not needing. I can't wait to bomb some Dodongos. Shoutouts to uh, whichever one of the CDI games that was. Sky, help me. Hypothetically, I, I, it's true I don't need anything to go into nine. Uh, realistically, the odds of maybe needing uh, the bow or something like that. Yeah, faces of evil. Probably. There's the map. Just in case you wanted to remember where we were. It does look like the enemy sets have been uh, shuffled around, as noted, I don't know, perhaps by the Paul's voices on the overworld. That's my candle money. That's it. I'm just being polite and picking that map up now. Those are bombs. Um, I still don't have a key. And we're looking, we're honestly looking for both the stair item and the heart on the floor. Because if, uh... If the heart is not a heart, then we know that, uh... Well, actually, no, we already know that dungeons are... Sh items are not shuffled. I guess the one thing I don't know is if they're shuffled amongst themselves or not. I mean, that's part of the flag, so I don't know. So we're going to try and do a thing here. Uh, this is a little trick that was discovered by uh, Cananaphone, I think. In that uh, if you are walking through a door, the uh, if you're walking through a locked door, the same frame a shutter door in the room opens. The game gets confused, as people hate when people say. Uh, whatever's going on, th the game kind of isn't checking that you're walking through the locked door for like the frame or the frame it takes for that door to open. And the game just lets you walk through the key door without a key, at which point it kind of says, oh, I, on the other side, I, you walk through this door, I guess it's open. Very similar to the way uh, the pirouette trick works. It's going to be faster to do this. And that is the uh, Kanana key. It's a little trick that has basically no application in the vanilla speedrun. And is incredibly valuable to know about in Randomizer. If you want to see a real trick with it, I mean, this is one of those like dumb tricks that really only apply to Randomizer, right? Uh you end up with well, there's my heart container um i must have checked that bottom room down there there was nothing in here so whatever the item is is, is level 3 it's ladder blocked of course it is that's a the running theme tonight but yeah tricks that are only useful in randomizer and not useful in their normal game. Like the Kanana key. Uh, a real application of it is when you see somebody push a block and bounce off of fire to basically take the damage boost to speed themselves up retreating to the, the locked door 
before the push block shutter door opens. There's only a couple of rooms you can actually pull that trick off in. There's the rare shop. That's probably it. So the good news here is going to be this. I have the power bracelet. I'm dumb. I, how many rocks have I walked by? And I haven't even tried one. Oh my, oh. So this is a, an any road, we know that. And we found it just in time, because we just found we found the blue candle just in time. Um where should we go with this any road? Why was I exploring three really hard looking for a raft? This is like the the fun that you're gonna get out of this tournament, because you're gonna see people Digging out items and then realizing, wait, I have no business digging this item out. Like, it's possible that it's needed. It's possible. Um, five has the recorder. We know where nine is. And we know that six is near the desert. Uh, so the desert screens, you know, maybe there's a button here in the tracker. It's called regions or areas, I guess. And uh, this is what it shows you. So these highlighted regions are kind of uh, within our own randomizer logic, right? You have near start or near a lake, near the desert in the graveyard. Uh, these color codings correspond to what those statements mean. So uh, that one there in the bottom left, that pale area, the, anything in that is the dead woods, including level one here. Level one has the bow in it. Uh, anything in that yellow area is the desert. That includes uh, three recorder spots in Second Quest Logic. And it includes, hang on, my brain's uh, processing. That push rock under the fairy spot where the uh, any road is in the normal video game. So this is where tracking kind of comes in, because at least the way I've been doing this, I try to keep track of which uh, which rooms I couldn't clear actually had push blocks in them. That is what I'm interested in. Getting this key is also good. That means I can actually open that locked door down there and access the other side of this place. Uh, there's no push block here. There's our map. So like, even though um, I have the blue ring, why am I marking anything as the blue ring shop? <laughs> Even though, like, we have a blue ring, we have uh, the book, uh, all those items, including the Triforce pieces, are still in the game. Uh, I'm not sure what the exact rationale for that was, but, uh, yeah. I'm going to assume that second quest rooms are not on yet because it makes me feel better about, my, about life. There's a lot of rooms that uh, could potentially 
have push blocks, but they only really apply to the second quest. Uh, a lot of times, like the consternation flag set, which is kind of the basis for a lot of races, I feel like. Not all of them by any stretch, but a lot of them kind of have that as the basic thing they do. On, I don't want a key. What am I supposed to do with this worthless Triforce? Another dungeon where whatever the actual valuable thing in it is now ladder blocked. So the other thing about uh, seeing two bomb pluses, one of them is the white sword, the other one's the magic sword. This one's the magic sword, the other one's the white sword. Uh, I have six hearts, so the most, even if randomizer gave me the worst luck, um, six hearts is the worst case scenario to pick up the white sword. And I have six hearts, so that is not a white sword. I'd like to buy a vowel. Take any. Uh, in a real race at this point, you might see somebody, because they will have figured out there is no magical sword to save up for. And uh, the white sword item also doesn't really exist. This is a second quest map. That's why I'm skipping this screen. Uh, you might see them. Wow, well, get me into here. I'm, I'm getting killed out here. You might see them grab the potion sooner than later. I'm going into the desert, and I'm going to start in the desert. Might as well do this. Uh, the first thing I actually want to do is check this screen over here. The mo Most of the recorder s spots are your... Um, Most of the desert spots to check are recorder spots on a second quest map. So, yeah. Level 2 is there. It's very nice. I have a triangle out of it already because of the flags. And um, I really don't want the magical boomerang. That's, that's just a meme. I don't know all the things the hints can tell you about this flag set. Uh, so level 6 can still be... Uh, the spot up at the top of the desert here. What was wrong in level 5 when we went in there? Was it just combat? Or was it actually... Well, I guess I needed bombs too. Uh, there's that key spot. Because we know six is in the desert. And there is six. Okay, good. I was getting worried that I was going to need the recorder to start checking all these other spots out. So six is a very linear dungeon for first quest. We got the ringleader. Uh, we still don't... It's hard to ever really know when those push blocks are on outside of just pushing everything. What even is this? This seed is hinting that is very much ladder required and I'm going to have to find level 4 to get the, dig the ladder out of it. then uh, the ladder is going to give me the bow. I do kind of want an excuse to go back up and pick up the bomb plus on uh, Death Mountain, which is the white sword item we know. Hmm, got a key. That's something. 
even like two extra bombs is incredibly valuable. Well, we just found out the ladder is in fact required. Uh, the only other thing for me to do in here would be to find the wand. And that's a thing. So uh, let's go find level four. Let's go up and then around the staircase this time. Did I ever get to check the forgotten spot? I think it was last race I was uh, going on about the forgotten spot. So what is left to actually check? Uh, there's some spots in the graveyard. And then there's the forest. And then we're going to start playing the game of... Where is level 4? Um, I don't think I have arrows yet. I don't have arrows. Uh, I'm going to buy these while I have the money to do it. It lets me collect more money. Uh, I don't need a blue ring. Do I need bait? I don't think I need bait. Level 7 has the red candle in it. Uh, this is actually going to be the bomb plus, so I should be able to get this. Yo. See, and now I have, I have extra bombs. That's a key. That's the, the key is the other thing that might be worth purchasing at some point. Take any cave. There are three more spots to check in this, in the, like the primary grave section. Uh, there's level six, there's first quest level six. Ooh, bombs. I want them. And there's one gravestone, and then there's a recorder spot where a second quest level six lives. There is also the spot immediately after the Lost Woods, where you would normally come out of the, the come out of the woods. But that is a recorder spot, and that is a thing we do not have. So let's see. You know, thanks everybody for the follows. Uh, we turned off the follower alert ages ago, but uh, I do see them coming in here, and it's awesome. Uh, let's burn the woods. Start some forest fires. See, at this point, it, the name of the game is where is level four? We know because of six's ladder block, we absolutely need to find level four. Probably don't even really need this money anymore, but it's money. You know what? We have all this money. Uh, we already got a bomb plus. I'm just gonna grab this thing. Uh, we don't have a a white sword or a wood shield or a magical sword to worry about so let's get the shield certainly uh, even in randomizer buying the big magical shield is sort of like the last thing to spend your money on when you're just kind of like well I guess I have money now because even then, right, there's a strong possibility I'm going to run into a mugger who's going to ask me for 50 rupees in a dungeon. There's a strong possibility I'm going to find a bomb upgrade uh, somewhere along the line. And now I don't have 100 rupees to buy it or you know, whatever it gets randomized to between 75 and 125. Ah! I'm going to turn this area marker off here now. Uh, feel like it's been on long enough and honestly the colors are annoying 
This is not a uh, second quest bomb spot if you're sitting here screaming, Cab, why aren't you getting that? Oh no, I'm dead. <laughs> Yo, I'm trying to read this. No, thanks, Islander. Down at the bomb shop. Didn't even realize I never got this one. The wood sword was in the wood sword cave. That never got randomized. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, so now what? Uh, I'm next to an any road, so I'm going to take advantage of that to go um, back into the Lost Woods. There is, this is the second quest map, so there is one spot over here, all the way in the corner. Looking at my health, making sure I still have the full heart showing. I'll take that, actually. Heart number nine. I'm just going to save, just in case. Also, because I kind of screwed that up. Um, so now what? The forest really is the spot to still check. Uh, there is one spot over there. It's the bush that has the, uh, the sheep shield by vanilla level two. And after that, uh, we need to actually go into level five. Three, we know the left is rat. It, we, yes, we know the left is ladder. Wow, I can't talk right now. The raft is ladder blocked. My goodness. Work brain. Uh, we also know the bow is ladder blocked. See, I said it right that time. So the recorder is going to be the last real option here once we get around to checking all the rocks. I don't know why I came here. Uh, this does at least give me a refill, I guess. Um, there are two more push blocks to check. This one, and then where the magical sword usually is. This would have been interesting to find it under because it would have been first quest four under the second quest four rock. Yo, we blocked a fireball. Who uses a shield? There are bomb spots along this river, but level four, because the ladder is in four, level four cannot be in the, any of them. This is like the seed we were just playing where it was like impossible to get anywhere. Screen wraps are impossible. They patched them. They can't be done. It's impossible. Nobody's ever done one. So you need to get a few pixels away from the edge of the screen. Get a one frame tap on the perpendicular direction. So in this case, I'm tapping down. There we go. So I'm just kind of like trying to flick the down button. Is it really just this spot and the candle spot in the woods? And then everything else is either raft or recorder? See, even when you do start with everything, you end up searching everywhere. Show me four! Ooh, ooh, no, 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 no. Um, okay. Oh, there's a spot in the woods still. Uh, we should, we should check it. Cause it would be dumb to dig out five and then find out we didn't really need to. We know you need the six Triforce to get into nine. Uh, so 
That means the ladder is not in nine. It is possible. Uh, and a lot of randomizer flag sets, right? Uh, important items in Zelda 1 Rando are not in level nine. Like, they, they just aren't. But, uh... They can be. There's no nothing wrong with having a seed where you don't need the bow until the very end of the game. So... Yep. Wherever 4 is, it is not anything I can access without getting the, the recorder first. And we will find out just how wrong about that statement I am relatively soon. I'm blocking fireballs everywhere that I'm just not even seeing coming towards me. Uh, so it can't be on the river because you need the ladder to get them get in there in the first place It can't be in a raft spot because that is blocked which means level five is completable uh, we, we entered from the right side of the screen so this door that was locked previously is just not even locked anymore of course now we have this here I have plenty of bombs this time. There's my, uh, the raft is in three hint. I've not actually seen any dungeon items outside of the heart and, uh, the wooden boomerang, though. It's always kind of odd when you get a flag set and the items are not shuffled. I'd agree that kind of the core of randomizer is shuffle all of the things, but you know, Patra. So the thing is, right? There's a uh, one Patra that kind of controls the whole bunch of them, and. Whatever pattern they're in, whether it's just straight circling Patra or doing whatever expanding dance or small dance uh, they're going to do, when you kill that Patra, they get caught in that pattern. Uh, it happens, I guess, killed the correct Patra there. Patra? Oh, no. Every bop is two hearts. Yeah, this is a disaster room. This was another old man. It's not a staircase. So you can't go up through old man rooms. What's up, Rowdy? You can't go up through old man rooms unless it's the mugger room. Uh, the mugger room you can go up through, and I've seen seeds where, like, people forget that. And it costs them a lot of time. I need something good. I don't have a potion. Okay. Okay. So the only way forward is through Disaster Patcher right here. And I, I can get hit in the wall. I can, I should say. I even have to be careful of the screen wrapping patches. Take the bomb upgrade. All right, I've got three hits. Yeah, 
We somehow got through that room. This is a staircase because we're out of other things for this room to be. We have two hearts in a dream, everybody. Two hearts and a dream. What's going on up here? Dig Dogger's room. We have three hearts in a dream. Three and a half hearts in a dream. This is the one-off room, so let's take a look. It's just some bombs. Got plenty of bombs, so at least te test that wall. So, uh, again, right, we're, this is the recorder. Uh, randomizer tries to not alter the number of staircases in a dungeon. And especially if you get a map that's a known map from another quest, um, it will kind of be the same. So let's try this. Is that Superman? So uh, the recorder here decided it was going to take me to the unbeaten dungeon, which is a setting to switch it. You know, in the normal game, it will take you to the ones you've already cleared. Uh, right now, it's not that. Which is unfortunate because if it went to the ones I had already cleared, I could find out what screen level 4 was on. Come on. I believe in you. So, if you've never seen the recorder in action on the second quest of this game, uh, and you might have seen it on, like, uh, Hyrule Warriors or something like that, there's just a lot of... I guess tiles on the map where it is bring your recorder. Uh, you can barely see it. There's a few screens that have kind of like a, a weird blue overlay. And if you know some of the recorder screens, you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Those are all ones I need to bring the recorder to to check it out. That's the Batman. Real talk. Uh, I don't know how many people out there have heard of the Rift Tracks. It's from the, the Mystery Science Theater 3000 folks, and they, you know, they make fun of movies. I'm only bringing that up because, uh, you know, Batman versus Superman, as we know, was uh, not the best movie. Let's just leave it at that. The point of this story is we were watching. Batman versus Superman with the riff tracks on. So, you know, it's a bunch of comedians making fun of the movie as it goes along. <laughs> Shouts to, uh, I don't even remember his name, Ocelot. And even then, watching it, she got to the point of saying, Is this movie better or worse than Batman versus Superman? Hum, this is Batman versus Superman. Oh my god, just turn it off now. I'm already going crazy from it. Good times. Block and shield. Block and swords. Uh, the other one I know they did was... Um, what was it? And where's my next recorder spot to check? Batman and Robin. That one, I think they had like an actual contest. And uh, if you won their contest, they would basically read your script. And there was definitely a point in the middle of it where they were just like, and here it says to just read this recipe. Because it's going to be more interesting than watching the movie. Good times. That can not be summarized in five words. Although, uh, I think I'm more part, mostly partial to their Iron Man and, uh, oh no, Wiz Robes. Star Wars ones. The Avengers, too. I 
that was a worthwhile blue wizard robe kill. Bombs. We are here to find the ladder. Nothing more. Uh, shuffling dungeon rooms, I think, is one of the flags that is always on, along with shuffling caves, just because... Oh, there goes that shield I had. It did its job, right? It just blocked a Wizro blast. Thank you for not having to clear this room out. Because that's the Triforce room according to the compass. We're just going to go over here. That's not it. Cleok! You know, that's the room the ladder's supposed to be in. And they don't have to be shuffled, they just probably are shuffled. Oh no. Oh no. I just remember I have sword beams. Is it in a two block room? It is. There was no breakfast. There was just magical death. Okay, we have the ladder, let's go. Um, with the ladder. The first thing I'm gonna do is duck into level one and get the bow. Uh, we might not need to actually kill Ganon. Uh, we might just like walk in, like I said, and Zelda's in the second room, and Ganon is just like, I give up, leave me alone, I need to return one day, go away. But uh, it's much more likely that Ganon needs to be dealt with. So we're gonna go in here and find ourselves a bow. Um. Oh, we were key blocked. We weren't even ladder blocked. Granted, this room is the mystery, right? Because that room in second quest, that's the second quest push block room. That could be it. Or that could just be... The, uh... That could just be be the room that's supposed to be before Aquamentus. So now, because we know the recorder's going to take me there, Superman's going to show up and give us a ride. I always appreciate Clark Kent, but at the same time, he's not Batman. I'm just going to stick with that. That is the moral of the seed. Where's nine? Nine is the gift shop. Okay. So this is also like another good case, right? Of this seed looked like it wasn't going anywhere for a long time. But then like once we started exploring everything, you know, things started coming together. And we at least knew where we need to go. That's going to be a theme for this random percent tournament. It's a lot of, well, now what? And then just having to deal with what's there. And making no assumptions along the way. So if you're new to the Zelda 1 randomizer experience, uh, level 9, you are generally looking for a boar and a door. The door will not open until you defeat the boar emitting the roar. And the other thing we know 
is that somewhere in level 9, there's a bow, and well, there's not a bow, there's a silver arrow. So we're looking for that, too. There are three hint men in level 9. And our hope is that they are all still here. Uh, none of them are going to say where the silver arrows are, per se. But they might say something like... Zal's guard the compass. Uh, so that means somewhere in this dungeon there is a room full of those fun little blobs. And... That room might have the compass. Oh no. And of course that's interesting because then we know Zelda's in a place. Or Link in this case since we are Zelda. Uh, I'm going to leave that little mark there because I don't know what's on the other side of that door. The door we're looking for is a single, a room with a single shutter door that uh, when we clear all the enemies out of the room, it refuses to open. If we find that door, then we might have found Ganon. Well, found Zelda. This one just likes me. I'm just going to kind of leave this room like this, and unfortunately I'm about to use my last key. Was it worth it? Oh my goodness, somebody's funny. So where does this go? into the block here. Where are we? We're actually up here. We're right back on track. Ah, oh, shoot. Have no keys. That actually bothers me a lot. Alright. I have only two hearts. So it's not that bad to uh, go ahead and go back to start because up and A and continuing gives me back gets me back up to three hearts anyway. Someone's got to tell me if I'm missing the roar. Oh, no. I was kind of hoping I'd get that bomb. I don't want money. I want keys. Keys! Uh, I can go to the right from the room up above, so that's something. Level 9 usually has a fair amount of keys. Ow, ow. Yeah, I know, right? Was the answer here all along? Sometimes the philosophy is never take a staircase. Although often when uh, an item is needed, the philosophy almost turns on its head and it becomes always take the staircase. The red danger noodles are kind of painful. So we're just going to do that. Got a key out of it though. That's good. That's what I get for checking chat. I get bopped by a vire. Where's the Zulls? Gels don't have the compass. Old randomizer trick there. 
That trick does work in the vanilla game too. Uh, but it's again more of a... There's not a lot of places where you can take care of that, take advantage of that in the vanilla game. There's like a couple of dark nut rooms really. Can't push this? What? Yeah, that that room has nothing. At best, that room has a bomb bomb wall to the left, and I'm not even gonna bother finding out. Except this is gonna be another old man. Doesn't say anything. Oh no! Zoles guard the compass. Dang. Reverse C room. Okay, we did it. This room will never again have enemies in it as long as I stay inside level 9. Hooray for getting bopped through the block. Does the reverse C room have the silver arrows? It does not. Where does it go? Is Ganon up from a room that has... Again, it's probably here. No. Oh, no, wait, I, I'm i compl- I should have known that. Um, so you know there's a roar in that room. Five. Hang on, where am I here? This is what happens when you start tracking poorly and it is very easy to lose track of what's going on in level nine. There's the compass. As promised, guarded by a bunch of Zoles. I don't hear Ganon, which means Ganon was up. But where, oh where, are the silver arrows? Whoa. I have one bomb too? Oh no. Thank you. Red Wizrobes are terrible turrets, but if they show up on their own in a room, they're target practice. Well, they're, they're terribly efficient turrets. Uh, so we actually still don't know if Ganon, or if, uh, if Ganon's required.
And it's entirely possible he's not. And we're uh, busy hunting for arrows. When we could be uh, looking for a path to Ganon. Um, I can actually kill the Zol with the arrows. Which means they'll give drops. They might not give any useful drops, but... Here's my last bomb, because I don't know which button I'm pushing. So let's see if I can go left. Oh! We're going to find out pretty fast if I'm in the spot where I can get away with doing this. I'm out of bombs anyway, though. Um, now what? So where am I on the overworld? I'm there. I'm by a fairy spring and the bomb shop is kind of over there. Uh, and I have 90 rupees, so let's do this. You know, have a good night, Leslie Pro. And we'll take that. Taking the pot shot at the blue octorok, hoping for cat, oh, hoping for bombs. Uh, we're gonna buy all the way up here. Are we gonna buy all the way up? Uh, let's do it. Let's hope potions are cheap, because getting a cheap potion would actually be really good right now. So yeah, the better players of Randomizer certainly will uh, be able to kind of deal with these situations in level nine and have plans. Well, potion prices did not change. Uh, the other thing to do, because Randomizer races really are just sort of solving the puzzle and guessing things right in a lot of ways, as well as your execution in combat. And so the other thing to do is to like kind of know, okay, this is what I'm going to need to be able to get through this and to do something like this and just like leave nine, restock, get your bombs, get a potion, go in there. Uh, certainly with only a blue ring because I still haven't found the red one. We know it's in there. Ganon fights can be a little hairy. A little hairy. Of course, the other bad thing about what just happened is... <clears throat> any room that had um, that got cleared out because it was still had bubbles in it is back. We've seen a lot of rooms here. Seen almost every other room around that one. We know where Zelda is, so... Any one of these rooms that are really uh, kind of marked off as... I don't know what's on the other side of this room? Yes, I do. It's not Zelda.
Good, I got a heart back out of that mess. There's my last four bombs. Which we'll immediately put to work testing stuff. Oh, this is a terrible situation. Get out of this room. So I was mentioning uh, the door earlier that does not open. There it is. Uh, it was possible it would actually open anyway. And that's just... Oh no. I should have just used the potion. Now I would have to go all the way up there again. So you know both doors there. It's locked. So this is where you start getting into a little bit of a loop. Because you're kind of stuck with, well now what? Uh, there's lots of spots in there that are just blocked off by keys. Even level 8 is blocked off by keys. Um, the next best thing to do, actually, is uh, level 2. Well, it's a garbage dungeon because it's going to have the any key in it. Uh, the magical boomerang in it. Uh, it might also have keys in it. Uh, 2 does have a tendency to have a lot of keys. We barely saw it earlier. Um, I think boss hit points are set to zero in this seed too. So we, I think the one like Aquamentus we met just went right down. Oh, the Patra, that was what it was. Two also is loaded with money for whatever reason. Shouldn't be any push blocks in level two. Is it the hint? I have to jokingly be careful to not pick up the uh, magic boomerang the same way a baseball player might not step on the foul line. Dodge. This is the hint. Can handle it. trying to dig out as many keys as I can and at the same time I don't want to up it I'd rather grab the Triforce to leave this smells like the magical boomerangs room grabbing the Triforce gets me the refill and gets me out of here at the same time I mean the hope was I'd get still more keys along the way. I left 9 with like how much money and now I'm up to 35. 
All right, hopefully we can finish it this time. I want to bring this home. Too many people watching. All right, so when going up doesn't work, you go left. Although, I'm going to apologize again. It's the other thing you do when uh, you're basically starting to get into limited resources like this and you're, you know, taking too long and it's hurry up already and just finish. Uh, saving is a very good idea. Because then when you look around and it, nothing works and you're out of keys again, just quit without saving. And suddenly all of your resources are back. The fearsome rupee boss has a staircase. It's an item. Let's go. So now the problem becomes, uh, well, I, I guess I have a potion. course. There's another key in that room. Alright, that's a room. This is Patra. This is Patra. I hoping I could save that a little bit longer. We need a bunch of hits on Ganon, and hopefully we can actually maintain a stun lock. Last enemy has the clock. I know it wasn't the last enemy. Ganon is in Ganon's room. Ganon has zero hit points. That's another one that uh, happens from time to time. And again, with like random, the random percent flags as they are, uh, a lot of these weird ones happen. It feels like an awful lot. Probably because compared to normal, it is a lot. Get out of here. Uh, so I guess technically we never found out what we can do here. This room was a deadly, deadly room. And we are now kind of stuck figuring out how do we get over there. Getting up in Patra's face is really good because then your sword swings have a tendency to hit more than one. Uh, of course, then I have to deal with the fireballs. The blue ring and lots of hearts is really helping here. Duh. That commentary might be on the level of what you want to do here is hit the ball really hard. I think I really am just going all the way back down two rooms I've seen before. Whoa! 
Um, this room. Well, I know about it doesn't help me. That is, that's game. So now let's go here and go up. Hopefully we're gonna finish this within 125. Which is mostly a matter of, is there like a killer? I think the next room is an NSE room. Uh, it's called an NSE room because if you look at the floor tiles after I light things up, kind of says NSU, just a little bit. And that was an NSU room that was like full of death. Just get up here, just get up here. Like I said, within 125. Zelda is in Zelda's room. Well, there, there we go. We did it. Ugh. So uh, now I've played three seats tonight and I'm going crazy. Um, What is even going on right now? Thank you everybody for showing up here and watching me waste everybody's time with a lot of video games. I hope everybody's kind of doing okay. Uh, we are going to go and say hello to uh, everybody's newest favorite Mario 3 player. I know we're going to leave Zelda, right? And go to some actual uh, Mario 3 here. The Haxor, who I believe is going to be playing uh, Mario 3 Hundo. So all the levels in uh, Calithon's event this upcoming weekend. So keep your eyes out for that on the Calithon channel. Uh, keep your eyes out if you're a fan of Zelda 1 Randomizer. The tournament's going on right now. Uh, there's an April Fool's Day race going on on Speed Gaming as well tomorrow. I'm sure if you know these sites, if you've been following Randomizer, you know these things. If not, follow Speed Gaming. Follow GDQ, follow Calathon, do all these things. Uh, but yeah, the Hexor, we're going to go raid him now. Uh, go, everybody ask why he doesn't jump to get the wand. That's the dumbest Mario 3 question I can think of right now. So just do that. And uh, thanks again, everybody. Have a good night. Stay safe.